Hi there, welcome to lecture two. So in this one, we're going to talk about solution initialization, okay? Initial conditions using code string, okay? So in the previous lecture, we talked about boundary conditions using code string, code fixed value. In this one, code string was just focus into solution initialization. So when it comes to initial conditions, remember that we, you can use sec fields, okay? So it's a very flexible tool. So also with flat sec fields, you're going, you, you can use STL files just to do that initialization. I'm going to show you if you haven't seen that already. Okay, but it might happen from time to time that it's a little bit cumbersome to use STLs or if you want to program that one in a more flexible way, Okay, we can use also code string. Okay, so remember, this is something that you're going to do just in time zero when you start. Okay, so it's a one time operation. So, as for the boundary conditions using code string, everything is dynamically computed, uh, comp compiled. Okay, you apply it in the specific field that you want to use. In this case, it is the entry related to initial conditions. Okay. So basically we're going to have a template which pretty much is exactly the same as for boundary conditions, okay? So this is another flexibility about code string that this template is always the same, okay? Or maybe some, from time to time you might need to add new libraries here, but I have to say that these are the standard libraries that is going to get that they are going to get you access to a, to everything that you need for for implementing initial conditions and boundary conditions. So you have this template. Remember that you are going to apply this one in code string. And instead of putting here the entry, like I know the scalar value or the vector value, you put this, okay? And then you are going to program here your initial condition, okay? As we did for boundary conditions. So for instance, let's say that you want to, to apply this elliptical boundary condition, okay? So see that you can go and do it using code string, something like this, and you get it. Or you can use an STL sec field with an STL file. Okay, you see same output, so it's up to you. But sometimes probably it might be that you have a tricky initialization, something that you cannot generate with STL, or you have access at the moment for the cat souls tool to generate that, or you are feeling lazy, whatever. So you use code, you can use code string. So here we're going to see both cases, okay? So for instance, if you go for a code string, okay, for initial conditions, this is how you go. So in this case, Okay, I call the primary primary phase phase one, and we're applying this code string in phase one. So see that you have your body of the code string that is pretty much the same, and then here in code is where you implement your actual initialization. So this it might be a little bit different from the previous one. So remember that here now we want to access the internal mesh. So see that we use these keywords not to access internal information. Then here, this is a scalar field, okay? You access now the internal cells. So previously in boundary condition, you access those surfaces, the boundary surfaces. Here now we access internal faces. And you can also access here also the, 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 the surface the surface bond that is using like in the previous case the patch internal fail that, that that command you can also patch that automatically and here's where you declare okay so use the standard loop access cell center so this function is to access cell center okay so if you want to know a little bit more about this function you have also the uh, the supplement slides that there are a few important fun functions access functions so for us for the moment for using code stream for boundary conditions and initial conditions is just the C and CF. CF is the phase center and this is the cell center. So you access cell centers in the same way and then you just apply your, <coughs> your function. So see that here we're declaring now using a conditional here and see that this is the function now for the elliptical initialization and that's all. Okay, relative easy. And well, this is interesting case because then as you let it run, this is what you're going to, to get. Okay, so it's I'm not going into details. So if you want to do the same using sec fields, okay, you and using an STL file, okay, I don't recall if you have a leak as a geometrical entity in sec fields, okay. But in any case, you can use STL, okay. So you generate that STL using all your favorite cat tool. And basically this is this is what you're doing, okay? You put your STL and then you initialize that. So to do that, this is now your prototype in sec fields. Now you set it like this. So this is a standard 
everything zero at the beginning and not showing the header by the way and see that to uh, use the STL this is what you need to do so this is the location of your STL and this is it okay so here you have the commands how to use it but as you see it's relatively easy so let's go and and <clears throat> and run this case and then we have two additional case in, in another video so this is the first introductory case so let's go and code a string in it see that you have different cases there and we're interested in this one in elliptical IC okay so as you go there okay as you saw you have your files and if you enter into zero org see that we have our initialization here so see that the standard way that we have done so far is like this, but now we have something non-uniform, and this is how you program. By the way, you can mix this with boundary conditions that later we're going to see, okay, you can have several of them, there is no problem, and this is your standard initialization, okay? But then also you can use sec fields, okay? So you have here sec fields, and the outcome should be the same, or probably will be slightly different, okay? But it doesn't matter, you should get something there around the, the ballpark. The geometry is located here is a standard STL ASCII format. So let's see here. Okay, so let's run the case. Okay, so see that it's compiling. I would stop it immediately, okay, because I just want to see the initialization. Okay, I don't want to really to get the solution. So see that now in this case we were running the the code string and see that you have your initialization there everything is like this but now let's do it again block mesh and let's use set fields okay so set fields da, 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 da. okay so it worked okay not a problem but to use set fields okay because see that automatically also running sec field, it compiled this one. So in theory, it is applying that initialization. So we need to command this. Okay, so you co command this and use this one, okay? So let's do phone clean tutorials, block mesh. So block mesh, we don't have that information, okay? So let's be sure that we don't have that there. Okay, so this is alpha and okay, okay, okay. So sorry, just give me a minute. Let me erase here. We have it because I need to modify here. Okay, so okay, remember that we have the backup file, so I need to do erase zero and now we have this one. Okay, so in this one we don't have that initialization okay so see that if i open here alpha nothing there so now what we're going to do is sec fields okay and sec fields see that it's accessing this file and just following we know the, the instructions that you are given in the dictionary in the slides you have an explanation of these entries but basically this is what we're doing so after using sec fields You have this. The other way around, okay, it's just you can use sec fields or let's do it here, okay. Dun, dun. Let me raise this comment and you use code string, okay. So again, we go font clean tutorials, erase this one because you initialize, get the clean fill. And actually, if I launch part of phone, I think I, I don't need I don't need to run it because it should detect detect that automatically. Okay. Okay. So yes, we need part of phone minus build end. Okay. So bam bam bam. Ta, 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 ta. Okay, yes, it doesn't detect. So in theory, you just need to run, for instance, if you run check mesh, 
It will auto. Okay. Ah, we don't have the mesh uh, actually. So paraffin. So it should detect it automatically. Let's see. And yes. So yeah, actually, you see, when you launch a uh, paraffin, it will do the dynamic compilation. Okay. So you need to to run it, not not a single time. So, okay. So when you launch. Paraphone, or you run, even if you run check mesh, let me do like this. If you run check mesh, no, it didn't do the, the compilation. Yeah, so you, if you launch Paraphone, it will compile it. So look at that. You go here. Okay, apply and see that it's doing the compilation automatically. Okay, so yeah, you program there, then launch Paraphone, and you can visualize this. So that that when you visualize, it's basically doing this, the accessing this. It's writing directly in the dictionary, and it's going to do this su su substitution. So this is the introductory case. Okay, then well, it's the one you can run this case and not go into detail about the physics that we're doing there. Okay, so. In the next two cases, we're going to do something a little bit more advanced. So we're going to mix, uh, we're going to, to to mix boundary conditions, initial conditions. So you see that it works with no problem. So thank you for your attention. See you in the next videos. Bye.